Hi, I'm Marina from LitMaps, and I'm going to show you how to use LitMaps for your literature review. To get started, go to app.litmaps.com. If you haven't already, set up a free account by clicking Create Free Account. It'll only take a minute. Once you're ready, go to the top left of the page and click Quick Search. From here, you can search for your topic or a specific paper you know. When starting a brand new search for the first time on a topic you might be new to, it's really important to try and find a great starting paper with a fair amount of citations and references. Go ahead and click Explore Related Articles for your starting paper. Your paper shows up in the middle of the lit map in this gray node, this dark shaded circle. All the other papers that you see here, these are all recommendations from lit maps based on how interconnected this article is to the rest of these papers on the map. You might also find papers that are not directly cited or referenced by your source paper. This paper, for example, is connected to another recommendation, but not your source paper. That's the power of litmaps and recommending articles you may otherwise overlook because we can't manually go through all of these papers, citations, and references manually. Go through your recommendations in the sidebar or just by clicking the papers on the map. Once you find an article you think is relevant, just click the more like this button and it'll automatically add that article to your map. I've added all the articles here that I think are really relevant for my topic. Now I can go ahead and click update results. LitMaps will rerun the algorithm using all of these papers as inputs into the search algorithm. Continue this process until you feel like you've covered everything vital in your field. But we're not quite done yet. The next thing you can do is to use a different search algorithm within LitMaps. So clicking on the algorithm at the top, the top shared citations and references, you can switch this to searching on authorship patterns or similar abstract and title content. Any articles you add to your lit map are automatically saved, so it's really easy to stay organized. You can access the whole list by clicking articles at the top right. From here, you can also export papers by clicking on this icon and selecting what kind of file you'd like to export. You can also stay organized by using tags. So once you find a paper you think is relevant, but you want to keep track of it with a specific kind of tag, just click tag and give it a category. You can see all of your tags listed in the far left sidebar over here. And as you go through and create more topics and subtopics, it'll be really easy to keep track of them. A paper can have more than one tag and it'll just show up with as many colors as it has tags. Once you've repeated this for a few cycles, you'll start to really hone in on all the relevant literature on your topic and your map might look something like this. I have different tags with different colors and all of the articles I've already found in the middle of my map. You can also change how articles appear by clicking on the view recommendations button at the top. At this point, you might be pretty far along in your literature review. You may have already read some of these papers, taken notes, and you might even be writing up your final paper. At this point, we really recommend that you enable something called monitoring. Every single week, we have hundreds of thousands of new papers added to the LitMaps database. And every year there are millions of new publications. So just to know if any new papers come out that are connected to your topic, click open monitor and enable monitor. That's it. Now LitMaps will run this search for you every single week and let you know by email if any new relevant papers have come out. Monitor is a pro only feature. So if you don't have that, then just be sure to check back in routinely and see what's changed. If you wanna share this map with others or work deeper on the visualization itself, then just click open design. From here, I can move around my papers and create different visual categories to keep track of. I can also share by clicking share at the top right. You can share by a public URL that anyone can access or by email. You can use LitMaps for every stage of the literature review process, from finding articles to staying organized using tags and maps to staying up to date by using Monitor. So try it out and let us know what you think.